material. All right, now I want you to check these out right here. You can see this layer right here. You can see how it kind of layers off here. And because these are really young layers, you can just all these rocks can be taken apart. See, because these stones right here are the end result of some deposition that occurred from way upside inside that Tanaha right there. And if you follow me, we'll go inside and see something even more interesting. Go. These rock layers right here are a little older than those over there because you can see that this is a conglomerate rock layer. It's got all of these big stones in it, just like over there, but everything in between has cemented together. And this has been exposed because of weathering and erosion. And what we saw down there is what was deposited from right here. Yeah. All right, well, see this layer of rock right here that I'm walking on has been thrust up like this because of internal pressures in the earth. And you can see that right over here, this layer of rock is part of these strata layers of rock there. And you can see how they were shoved up by the heat and energy from the mantle. And as we walk further into the Tanaha, it's going to get even crazier. Let's go! All right, right now I'm standing in the middle of millions and millions and millions of years of geologic history. Look right here. I can climb right up here where I can see all of these different strata layers. This is being weathered and eroded away by the wind, by the heat, by the cold, by the sandstorms that hit it. And if I'm not real careful and I spend too much time up here, I might end up like the poor fellow who was looking at those rocks over there. When you think about all of the water and all of the energy that pours down through this canyon when it rains, it's not hard to understand how a rock like this can turn into a rock like this in a few hundred million years. Now we're going to get to see some really interesting stuff. Check this out. This rock layer right here goes along this way, but something in the earth, some kind of force from underneath, pushed up right at this place. So all of these rock layers right here are buckled. Did you ever know that you could bend rock like that? Okay, now, you remember when we were out at the outside of the canyon and I showed you those strata layers that haven't been completed yet. And I promised you that inside we'd see some really crazy stuff. And here we go. We're at the most interesting part of the Tanaha. Millions and millions of years of weathering erosion and deposition has cut away the rock layers right here. So you can see how these rock layers on this side match up precisely with the rock layers on this side. Come on, if we're lucky, maybe we'll get to see some more. Whoa! Alright, here's some more of that bent rock strata layers. Check them out right here. Forces from deep inside the earth bent these. And then water erosion, along with some wind erosion cut them away and created this river channel. Let's see what else we can find. We're almost to the Tanaha, and if we're lucky, there might be some water in it. Let's check it out. Wow, this is one of the only water sources for all of the organisms in the desert. Besides the river and the ribbon of life that it provides, pools of water like this that are caught in these naturally occurring stone basins provide life for all the desert organisms. 
Hey, thanks guys for coming with me on my hike up Ernst and Aha. This is day five of the Big Bend excursion, and I'm glad you could be here with us. Thank you.